on, everybody? This is Island Hopper TV, and today we're going to talk about the best places in the world to retire, coming to you from Bangkok, Thailand. Let's get into this list. With the cost of living skyrocketing in places like the United States and other Western countries, people are looking for alternatives to move and retire. Here is our list of 18 countries. First up is Costa Rica. Located in the heart of Central America, Costa Rica is known for affordable housing opportunities for retirees, also a modern and efficient healthcare system with beautiful beaches on the Pacific and Caribbean side and high mountain ranges with lush tropical rainforest. If you're looking to save money, do get outside of the major tourist areas. That's where you'll find the best deals. And it is a developed country also known for being one of the five areas in the world where they have the highest concentration of centarians on the Nicoya Peninsula. For those of you with deeper pockets, maybe consider places like Hako, Tamarindo, or Papagayo. For those of you looking to save money, I would suggest looking down by Santa Teresa on the Nicoya Peninsula, considering places along the Caribbean coastline, or even looking around San Jose. Costa Rica has some of the most unique biodiversity you'll find anywhere on Earth, with a diversity in flora and fauna as well as animals and marine mammals. Costa Rica is considered the safest country in Latin America. Next up, we're staying in Latin America and we're going up to Mexico, a rapid developing country known for its lower cost of living compared to many Western countries in terms of housing, healthcare, and just daily expenses with a mild climate and temperate in some areas. You can find tropical beaches in places like Playa del Carmen, Tulum, or even Merida, you'll find a very nice tropical climate in that area of the Yucatan. You have amazing cities in the interior like Mexico City or Guadalajara, and then north of Mexico City, you have Guanajuato, San Miguel de Allende, and so many other places on the west coast like Puerto Vallarta, Cabo San Lucas, or even north of there, you have La Paz and Todos Santos. So many places for you to familiarize yourself with when deciding to retire in Mexico. It just depends on the climate, cost of living, safety, and of course, the food. Next up, we're headed out to Southeast Asia. This here is the Philippines with over 7,500 islands known for its friendly locals and some of the most affordable housing accommodation you will find anywhere on earth so you will find your retirement savings just goes a little further down here there is a bit of a cultural diversity as well with english being spoken widely across the philippines beautiful beaches on every island philippines offers a special resident retiree visa program that may be interesting to you popular areas with retirees are going to include pampanga on luzon Davao in Mindanao, also places like Palawan have become popular over the years, and then Cebu, definitely check out Bohol as well. Philippines is a slowly developing country, so it doesn't have the best infrastructure for transportation across the islands. Also, it is prone to tropical storms, so keep that in mind when choosing this destination. We have made full travel guides about the Philippines, Mexico, and Costa Rica. I will put links to those below in the description for you to watch later. Next up, we're headed to the far western edge of Europe. This here is Portugal, known for its mild climates and affordable cost of living, although it has been increasing over the last couple years. Portugal does have a quality healthcare system, beautiful scenery, with affordable real estate and easy access to countries like Spain, France, and other countries around the Mediterranean, even in Morocco, you can easily get there. They have the Golden Visa program for non-EU citizens to obtain residency by qualifying with your investments. So this is gonna be more for those of you who have a bit more money, but still looking for a cheap alternative to where you're at. It is a fully developed country with a modern healthcare system. Some of my favorite places to consider would be Porto as well as Lisbon, and then in the south they have the Algarve. Portugal is considered one of the safest countries in Europe as well as one of the friendliest. Also, you can find a rich cultural heritage here with castles and other festivals. You can also explore the Azores and Madeira Island. 
Headed back to Southeast Asia, this here is Thailand, one of the most visited countries by foreign tourists in the entire world and for good reason. It's considered affordable, safe, culturally rich, and beautiful scenery, great beaches, lush rainforests, and affordable accommodation all across the country. Rural Thailand is considered a hotspot with foreigners really looking to save money. But if you choose places like Phuket, Bangkok, Chiang Mai, expect to pay a bit more. Some of my personal favorites include Koh Samui, Koh Tao, and Chiang Rai. And you can't go wrong with Thai food. Also, so many different Buddhist temples across the country, especially in the north. If you go to the south, you're gonna come across more Islamic stuff. Thailand is a rapidly developing country with a modern healthcare system. All across Thailand, you'll notice there are expat communities in places like Chiang Mai, Bangkok, Phuket, even Koh Samui. We've made videos for all of these places, including a full Thailand travel guide. If you guys want to check the link description below, I'll put those videos. Also, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as we continue to show you more. Headed down south of Thailand, this here is Malaysia here in Southeast Asia. It is a bit more affordable than even Thailand, a lot less action but you can still find very affordable cost of living, including housing, food, transportation. It's a melting pot of cultures with Malay, Chinese, Indian, and then some of the indigenous communities. The climate here is very warm and tropical. Modern infrastructure in places like Kuala Lumpur, Penang, and throughout the Malaysian Peninsula. Then if you go over to Borneo Island, there's a whole portion just above Kalimantan in Indonesia, where you can find even more affordable cost of living in Kota Kinabalu, also the tallest mountain in all of Southeast Asia, along with orangutans. Malaysia offers the MM2H program. Do check that out for foreigners. Next up, we're headed to Southeastern Europe. This here is Turkey, one of the more affordable destinations in the Western world, as you would call it, with Mediterranean climate, diverse landscapes in places like Cappadocia or Istanbul, which is one of the most unique cities you'll ever see right along the banks of the Bosphorus. Turkish cuisine is amazing. The affordable cost of living includes transportation, entertainment, housing, very comfortable lifestyle can be had in Turkey for an affordable price. There's many historical cities, especially in the south and in the interior like Ankara or along the Mediterranean like Greek and Roman cities of Ephesus or down by Antalya. You'll find several different cities, really a historical place to be, but the cost of living the good food, the friendly people, the great climate. That's one reason to consider moving here. Turkey does offer a retirement visa that may include proof of income and health insurance. Next up, we're headed to the Balkans. This here is a hidden gem along the Adriatic Sea, Montenegro, just south of Croatia. I found this place to be very charming, cost efficient, and beautiful landscapes. So low cost of living, beautiful landscapes, friendly people, good food and Mediterranean vibes. What more could you ask for right here along Montenegro? And I consider it a hidden gem. So do some research on this one if you're interested in the Med. They do offer certain residency programs that may include certain levels of investment, such as purchasing real estate or making it easier for individuals to establish a legal residency. So you can do a little bit of research on the real estate opportunities here in this growing market as the Adriatic continues to develop. I recommend looking at KOTOR or Budva. Next up, we're headed to South America. This here is Ecuador. Known for its affordable cost of living, including the housing, the transportation, food, and healthcare, you can also find a comfortable lifestyle here with a diverse geography that runs right along the Amazon rainforest in the Andes Mountains right next to the Pacific Ocean. And then off the coast is the Galapagos Islands. It is a Spanish speaking country, so you're gonna need to brush up on your Spanish if you're gonna move here. Some people do speak English, but not very many. There is an active expat community in places like Cuenca and even Quito, Villa Cambamba. 
They also have retiree support groups and social activities where people get together. So this is a very tight knit expat community for you to jump into if you wanted to. But the real big thing here is the cost of living. They have made improvements to the healthcare system, although it's not quite there where you'd want it to be as far as Western standards. As far as the retirement visa goes, it does allow qualifying individuals to live in the country as retirees. And the program has certain benefits that include exemptions from taxes and import duties. So look that up if you're interested. The country is called Ecuador because it sits along the equator. But with that being said, it is a mild climate. It's not that hot, but very lush and expect a lot of greenery and humidity. Now from South America, we're going to head up a bit to Central America again. This here is Panama, just south of Costa Rica. Home to the world famous Panama Canal. It is an economic boom country with Panama City sitting here due to the canal. You have retirement programs like the Pensionado, which is a program that includes various benefits, including discounts on health care, entertainment, and transportation for qualifying pension and retirees, tax benefits because it is a territorial tax system, meaning that income tax earned outside of Panama is not subject to the Panamanian taxes. This could be advantageous to some of you. There is a warm tropical climate here. Scenic beaches in particular on the Caribbean side. In places like Bocas del Toro, it is a Spanish speaking country, but English is widely spoken here. Many business minded people would take this one over Costa Rica just because of the tax benefit. Also, it's important to note that Panama City is more economically enhanced than a place like San Jose in Costa Rica. Now here we are in Greece, another affordable Mediterranean destination. You'll find beautiful islands in the Aegean. They also home to many UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So if you like island living and history, Greece is for you as long as you love Greek food, which I personally do. So I would easily move to Greece for retirement, especially since they have the retirement visa known as the golden visa program allowing individuals to obtain residency by making qualifying investments or purchasing real estate you can check out the saloniki athens or in my case i would go for the islands like peros or naxos maybe even Rhodes and even crete now here we are in bulgaria right along the black sea just north of the bosphorus and turkey Bulgaria and the Bulgarian Riviera is definitely an up and coming place for you to consider retirement if you're looking for great climate, good food, and very affordable experience in Europe. They do have a modern healthcare system here, rich history and culture. Also, English is starting to be more widely spoken here. You have easy access to the European Union because Bulgaria is a member of the EU. And as far as the retirement visa goes, they do allow non-EU citizens to live in the country. The program may have financial requirements though, such as proof of income or even savings. Bulgaria has hot summers and can have cold winters. And back to Southeast Asia we go. Here in Vietnam, one of the most affordable countries on this list, you will find great affordability in places like Ho Chi Minh City, and Da Nang, and then in the north you have Hanoi. My favorite place is the south of Vietnam. I would recommend that over the north. Healthcare can be hit or miss. It does vary. Like I said, in the south, I feel like it's got more infrastructure and a bit better. Vietnam visa requirements are providing legal pathways for long-term stays. Depending on what country it is that you're coming from can be easier. For example, being American is a bit harder than being an Aussie or a Brit. So something to keep in mind, but they do have an active expat community and it is considered generally safe for expatriates and retirees because the crime rate is low. Also, travel around the country is relatively easy. You can get around to Cambodia, Laos, Thailand and others. Very simple. It is a very hot country, especially in the south near Saigon along the Mekong River. So expect humidity down there. In the north near Hanoi, it does get a little bit chilly in the winter time, whereas in Saigon, it stays hot year round. 
and another super affordable country in Southeast Asia this year is Indonesia. I'm in particular talking about Bali or possibly Jakarta. Those are the two main areas where you're gonna find the most retirees, but really Bali is what we're talking about here. English is widely spoken on Bali, so that's something that's convenient, whereas the rest of Indonesia doesn't necessarily have that. They have delicious cuisine if you love nasi goreng and other sautés. They have a rich history, beautiful islands, actually more islands in Indonesia than the Philippines. I think there's over 11,000 islands in Indonesia. That's amazing, right? It is a tropical climate, so do expect a lot of rain during the rainy season. Now, as far as healthcare goes, major cities have modern hospitals like Jakarta or Yogyakarta. The retirement visa for foreigners does have some criteria that must be met uh, in order for you to stay for an extended period. So you need to look that up and really go into details because it can be complicated. In Bali, you should be able to find very nice, affordable, comfortable accommodation right there on Bali. Next up, we're headed to Africa. This here is Ghana, a country that has friendly locals, very affordable cost of living compared to Western countries. English is widely spoken. The climate is tropical. There's a cultural diversity here with, and then when it comes to the visa, they do have a dependent residence permit, but the age requirement is 60 years old and above in order to apply for that. And now here we are in the Caribbean. This here is the Dominican Republic. It is a Spanish speaking country where they do speak English widely, especially in the tourist areas like Punta Cana and some of the other areas around Santo Domingo. There is an ease of travel getting around here because of the major airports. They do have a residency option with the pensioners residency program for those of you who are looking to do a legal long-term stay. They have many outdoor activities, island hopping, and the UNESCO World Heritage Sites are in Santo Domingo for the discovery of America as one of the oldest cities. Then they have the healthcare services and facilities that are modern compared to Western countries, very affordable. The thing about Dominican Republic is they do get hit with hurricanes ever so often and the prices have been going up in places like Punta Cana although the Dominican Republic continues to be a favorite with retirees. And now we're headed back to Central America. This year is El Salvador. It's another up and coming country that has really transformed over the years, going from a dangerous country to a very safe place with an economic forecast that's through the roof. Very beautiful, pleasant climate. El Salvador does allow dual citizenship under most circumstances and the visa process is quite easy to obtain 90 days or six months depending on where you're coming from but you go through the process and you can become an el salvadorian citizen if you would like now the places i would consider taking a look are going to be along the coast in a place called surf city also in san salvador they have some really nice areas and an expat community El Salvador is a small country, but it's definitely an up and coming hidden gem for retirees. And last but certainly not least, here we are in Spain. They have places like Barcelona, Madrid. You can also go out to the Canary Islands, which is a great place to retire and hang out on the islands, do the island life, right? They have an ease of travel with a high speed train here. Yes, they do speak Spanish as the official language, but English is spoken just not as often as you may like if you're from an English speaking country. They have a great social atmosphere. Retirement visas are non lucrative visa for retirees, allowing them to reside in the country without engaging in employment. That means it does require proof of financial means and health insurance. They need to know that you have enough means to be there. They do have a well-developed healthcare system. So yes, I do like Spain as a retirement option, especially the islands in the Mediterranean, even like Ibiza, Formentera, they have Mallorca. So check those out. And on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed this one about the cheapest places to retire around the world. Hopefully you found it useful. If you did, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, 
and check the links in the description below for those videos about Thailand, Costa Rica, Mexico, El Salvador. I'll put all those below. See you on the next one.